reading. One about babies. Oh, I want to see. I want to see. Mummy, are all babies head down in their mummy's tummy? Most of them are, sure. But you were the other way around. Head up. That's why you were born by C-section. What was that like? The hospital gave us an appointment for the C-section. I'm so excited, I can't even eat breakfast. Maybe you can eat something in the hospital. We need to go now. And you still aren't having any contractions? No, none at all. But I'm nervous. Then let's get going. Okay. Good morning. My wife has an appointment for a C-section. Uh-huh. First I need your insurance card. Please take this form and report to the delivery room upstairs. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Hello, I'm your midwife. I'll take you to your room. You can leave your things here. After the operation, you'll be coming back to this room. Now I'll prepare you for the operation. Mrs. Hauser, you'll need to get completely undressed and put on this gown. And you need to put on these scrubs. Hang on, I'll help you. And then you can lay down on the bed. I'm going to have a wee feel first, just to check that the baby hasn't turned yet. No, still breech, just as before. Now we'll do a CTG and record the baby's heart rate for about 20 minutes. When we come back to this room later, we'll have a baby. It's such an incredible feeling. A mixture of tremendous excitement and fear about whether everything will go smoothly. Yeah, and I wonder what our baby will look like. The CTG was normal. The obstetrician is ready. We can head over to the operating theatre now. Mr. Hauser, are you alright? You're so pale. I think I need to sit down again. Good grief, Mr. Hauser! Quick, get his legs up. He didn't eat anything yet today. It must be low blood sugar. Thanks, I'm better now. Don't get up, I'll get you something to drink. I'll measure your blood pressure too. Thanks so much for your help. Are you sure you want to be present in surgery? Yes, absolutely. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Have a something to eat. Okay. You all right, Mr. Hauser? Yes, I'm fine now. Okay, here we are. Mr. Hauser, you can stay with your wife here at the end of the bed. Thanks. Good morning, I'm your anesthetist. I'm going to administer an epidural. Then you won't be able to feel your legs or your lower abdomen for about two hours. The needle is inserted into the lower back. Okay. I'm sorry I'm trembling. I can't help it. That's normal. It's just nerves. You need to bend forward as far as you can now. Oh, that hurts. It's putting so much pressure on my stomach. You're going to have to put up with it, I'm afraid. It's necessary to make sure the anaesthetic is placed correctly. Right, all done. My colleague is going to spray a cold liquid on your stomach now. Do you still feel the cold, Mrs. Hauser? It's just wet and cool. Yeah, I can't really say for sure. More cold spray, please. Is it still cold, Mrs. Hauser? No, no, it's just wet. Okay, we can begin. Lay back now, please. You won't see much, Mr. Hauser, because of the sterile drape. Michael? Yes, I'm here. Do you feel anything? No, nothing. Is everything okay, Mrs. Hauser? Yes. Do you know if it's going to be a boy or a girl? Yes, it's a girl. And what are you calling her? Lena. Ah, very pretty. I heard something. Is our baby already here? Yes, your little Lena is here. And she's just perfect. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, she's adorable. Oh, 
take her straight to Daddy. Oh, she's tiny. I don't even know how to hold her properly. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Oh, Lena, how wonderful to finally hold you in my arms. You can hold your baby soon. First, we have to stitch up the incision. Snuggle in close to me, Lena. Now we can go to our room. A baby is like a miracle. She's so beautiful, I could just stare at her for hours. And then we had to stay in the hospital for five days. Is dinner ready soon? I'm so hungry. Mommy, get him something to eat quick or he'll faint again. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the video? Then give us a thumbs up! And subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing! Bye! Bye.